Nicholas Young is home from his voyage on the HMS Endeavour and sits comfortably in an armchair under the flickering light of a candle. It is a summer evening in London, and Nicholas enjoys the breeze wafting in from an open window. With a knife, he opens two newly delivered letters written by his best friend, Michael Bryant. He reads the first letter. Dear Nicholas, I'm writing to you on board the Friendship, one of the ships of the First Fleet. The First Fleet is a group of 11 ships that are transporting 787 English prisoners to Australia. The prisoners are both male and female and are called convicts. Government officials, their families and the ship's crew are also sailing with us. We left England on the 13th of May, 1787. I am being sent to Australia because I was found guilty of stealing a loaf of bread. I was terribly desperate, Nicholas. I had to feed my family. You see, I had lost my job in the factory. They no longer needed me to make goods by hand because they now have machines that can do it for them. I was not the only person fired because of the new machines. All my friends lost their jobs too, and because we had no money, we had to steal food and clothes. There was no other way for us to survive. As there were so many people committing crimes, there was no more space left in the jails for all of the prisoners. So the government decided to send us to Australia. The government also want to send Englishmen to Australia because owning lots of land will make England a stronger, wealthier and more powerful country. They keep using the word colonisation to describe their plan. But it is absolutely horrendous on board the Friendship. The waves are enormous, making the boat rock from side to side. I feel constantly seasick. We are crowded inside in the suffocating darkness and there is little room to stretch our legs. We receive barely any food or water. Every day my stomach barks with hunger like an angry dog. I cannot wait to get off this ship and arrive in Australia. There is no way it can be as bad as my life in England or on this terrible ship. Your friend, Michael Bryant. Nicholas closes his eyes, saddened by the news that his friend has been transported to Australia on the First Fleet as a convict. Butterflies squirm in Nicholas's stomach as he opens the second letter from Michael. Dear Nicholas, I arrived in Australia two weeks ago on the 26th of January, 1788. We landed at Port Jackson, a beautiful harbour with glittering water, also known as Sydney Cove where the new colony is to be established. I was immediately placed in a prison and forced to wear a yellow and black uniform so that all the guards know that I am a convict. Life as a prisoner is abominable. I am forced to work all day long, cutting wood for the officers so that the timber can be used to construct new buildings for the colony. 